The Mandalorian Season 2 trailer finally released yesterday morning, so I'm here to break down everything in that trailer so you can get a better understanding of what The Mandalorian Season 2 will look like. All right, we start off with the Razor Crest, you know, the Mandalorian ship, uh, now broken, obviously, flying over some unknown planet. Uh, I'm guessing it's Utapau from Revenge of the Sith, but really, my guess is as good as yours. Next, we see the iconic Lucasfilm logo, you know, so we know who paid for this whole thing. Then we see the Mandalorian and the child, Baby Yoda, walking away from a city, except it's probably not a green screen because now they use something much more expensive. Now they're walking into a city at... I'm guessing it's the same city, but uh, it looks pretty cool to me. It looks like it might be Lothal from Star Wars Rebels, but chances are it's nothing that we've seen before anyway. We hear a female voice saying that somebody should be united with its own kind. I think we're supposed to believe it's the child, Baby Yoda, but uh, it's a little bit confusing. We see the Razor Crest flying over what looks like Tatooine with the Tusken Raider sitting on a bantha, and we hear, Where? And it kind of looks like the bantha's saying it. Then we hear, this you must determine in the same female voice. Then we see it flying into some ice planet, and I can already see people theorizing that this is going to be Hoth. And I don't think that it is Hoth. If I were to make a prediction now, I'll bet it's, uh, remember that planet from the Clone Wars Ilum, where all those Padawans got their kyber crystals? If you don't remember that, you will probably know it as the planet that later became Starkiller Base. Then we hear the voice saying, Souls from Eon's Past. That's kind of a tongue twister, isn't it? All right, I'll just show you this next uh, little excerpt from the video. The songs of Eon's past tell of battles between Mandalore the Great and an order of sorcerers called Jedi. Mandalore the Great was an ancient Mandalorian who was so brave that they actually gave him the title Mandalore. The Mandalorian then makes a comment that he may have to return the child to the Jedi. That's interesting. By the way, I think we're supposed to believe that this lady right here is a Jedi, because, not the Mandalorian, <laughs> because she suddenly disappears right here. There's a quick shot, of course, of our two main characters, and we hear, this is the way. If you didn't know, this is going to be streaming in October. We see the Mandalorian on a boat with a Quarren behind him. The Quarren are native to the planet Mon Cala, just like Admiral Akbar's species, the Mon Calamari, so we might end up getting to see Mon Cala again. We see the Razor Crest with a couple New Republic X-Wings. It's unclear, but they might be chasing him. Speeder Bike, Griffin Kara, TIE Fighters, Imperial Remnant, Scout Troopers, Underwater Cage, Jetpack, not sure what this is, Cave, possibly Slave 1, Boba Fett ship, Gamorians, like we saw in Episode 6, Revenge of the Sith, are of course fighting here. We then see this. The Mandalorian throws a knife at this guy, and then he drops down dead. New logo and streaming October 30th. And of course, Disney+. Plus. I wasn't the world's biggest fan of Season 1, so I was pleasantly surprised by this trailer. I actually really enjoyed it, and I'm hoping that we see Luke Skywalker. There was some hinting to the new Jedi Order, so I'm, I'm hoping that we get some returning characters. I'm definitely optimistic about Season 2. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and may the Force be with you.